Hey YouTube, um, something I just ordered from eBay came in today and uh, thought I'd uh, share the unboxing with you, so I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this thing open. Maybe I should have got a serrated knife. Oh yeah, something interesting about this is, it says, uh, it's hard to see, but it says Yobo on the tape. Like those uh, clone Nintendos. Um, uh, says it right. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it there. So, I can tell what they uh, used this box for originally. <laughs> All right. Let's see. eBay receipts. All right. What I got was a Turbo Graphic 16 Turbo Pad. And oh wow! 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 <laughs> it actually comes with all the paperwork. The instructions, which are basically plug it in, press buttons to play. If you want turbo, hit the switches. Oh, wow. Registration card. Business reply mail. I did not expect this stuff. I just thought I was getting the box. But, uh. Yeah, and it comes with like a thing advertising the games. And it shows uh, different accessories such as the CD drive, the turbo booster audio video enhancer, um, controller, the joypad. Wow, I did not expect all, all this stuff because it just said, uh, well something is missing but uh, I'll just have to get back to them about that, but here's the the controller. The eBay ad actually said that it came with the controller and extension cable, and there's no extension cable in here, so I'll have to get to them about that. So you may be asking yourself why, if you've watched my earlier videos, that is. Um, why is he getting a TurboGrafx controller if he can't hook it to the TV? Well, that's not true anymore. Um, I actually went online and I, I searched up ways to uh, connect my uh, TurboGrafx to the TV via, uh, what is it? Uh, not component, not coaxial, composite. That's it via composite cable and it turns out some of the pins on the uh, expansion drive on the back actually carry the video and audio signals so all you have to do is uh, tap into those so what I did was I took off some of the the headers that are inside a PC case because they actually fit over the pins perfectly and I connected some composite inputs to the ends of those. And if you want to see that, here we go. 
Yeah, I just have them connected in there like that. I just have a loose connection to the wires right now. Actually, it looks like I need to redo the video because it's disconnected, but... Sure enough, it works. Here, let me repair that video one really quick. Plug it back into the system. I might actually get around to soldering this stuff together right now. It's just kind of wrapped around the posts and connectors. Okay, check it out. I have blazing lasers in there right now. Uh, I gotta change the TV to the right setting. All right. So As you can see, I have it working. Now, to plug in the controller to see if it works. Because the other one, the end was ripped off. I tried to get it to work, but couldn't for the life of me do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I uh, just plugged in the controller one-handed. It's a little harder than it sounds. Okay. <laughs> it's working. No, let me try to do this one-handed. Ah! Hey, I haven't really played this game, so I don't know what those little power-ups are. Oh yeah, but this thing is working perfect. One thing though, um... Wow, well, game over already. Uh, the audio is actually pretty low using this method. I have to have the TV pretty crank, cranked up. So, uh... I don't know if that's just my system or if all the systems are that way, but if anybody knows a way to like boost the audio up a little bit, uh, let me know, and, uh, I'll definitely give it a, give it a try. Um, well, that's all I got for now. Uh, thanks for watching.